everybody, this is Leanne Lord and welcome to my at home comedy club. I am coming to you from my home in New York City, which at the moment is the national epicenter of the pandemic. And I want to take you back. I want to take you way back to 2019. Do you remember uh, how 2019 was so bad that we kind of pinned our hopes and dreams on a better and brighter 2020? Well, apparently 2020 was like, a word, hold my beer. Or to be commensurate with the current goings on, hold my corona. Now, what I really want to know is that if we are all working from home, how are we showing up to work late? Now, I am not exempting myself from this. Uh, I'm late. Like this show, I was supposed to start the show an hour ago. I am not on time. But in my defense, uh, the traffic between the couch and the kitchen is just horrific. Like there was a, there was an accident uh, right by my refrigerator and it took 45 minutes to clear that up. Whew, it, it was delicious. And now right now I want to give a shout out to my working at home human resources department. Uh, they've uh, honestly been trying to boost morale and so they've instituted a couple of new policies around here. Uh, we now have Margarita Mondays, Tanqueray Tuesdays, Wine It Up Wednesdays, Tequila Thursdays, and my personal favorite, Fireball Fridays, everybody. Now, uh, we, not, we may not be getting any work done, but we damn sure get it in. This has all been very disorienting for me. I've been, I've been waking up later. I've started drinking earlier. And it feels like college. <laughs> At least the way I imagine college to be. Because to be honest, I completely wasted my college years. I, I, oh man, you guys, I, I went to class. I, I did my work. I, I dated one boy at a time. I, 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 I didn't drink or, or do drugs. I, I completely wasted my college years. But I'm making up for it now. Well, not in the dating department. I'm not because I'm still waiting for the CDC to issue its guidelines on how to date during the pandemic. Because social distancing kind of... I don't know, that puts a damper on public displays of affection. It might be interesting to see if children raised on social distancing uh, grow up to have intimacy issues. You know, like, I love you, don't touch me. Now, even if you are in a relationship right now, there's going to be uh, some adjustments to be made. Uh, here in New York City, they have officially closed all barber shops and beauty parlors and nail salons. So we're all going to have to get back to appreciating inner beauty. <laughs> oh man, but I, I will add this very quickly. As my friend Lene DePriest reminded me, um, Liquor stores are still open because in New York City, New York City's wisdom, they have deemed that to be an essential service. So overall, our standards are going to be way, way lower. On the real though, it's been really hard uh, working at home because of all the emails I have been getting from any and everybody that I have ever done business with. Right? And it's all the same subject line. Here's how we're handling the pandemic. I don't care, random shoe store that I patronized one time back in 2003. Okay, listen, I get it. Um, an email from my doctor reminding me to wash my hands? Okay. An email from
from my dentist reminding me to brush my teeth? No. Just, just, just go sit down somewhere. Not only am I just not going to randomly drop that from my daily hygiene regimen, but quiet as it's kept, uh, it is a lot easier to get a nose bloop from my cat when I have minty, fresh breath. <sighs> just saying. Now, you know who I haven't heard from? My gym. See, I had to hear it on the news that all gyms were closed. Okay, did I get an email from my gym telling me how they were going to handle that uh, monthly deduction that they were still doing for my membership? No, I did not. Did I get an email from my gym telling me if there was going to be a collection suspension or a money moratorium? No, I did not. So if you think it was hard canceling a gym membership before, oh baby, try doing it now. Now, I know that everybody is a little on edge. You know, we're, we got a little quick trigger here. It's, it's real easy to get mad. And we look, we're looking for somebody to be mad at. You know, I hear people mad right now at millennials because they seem to be ignoring the directives about social distancing and they're still getting together to party during spring break. Now, look, I like to millennial bash as much as the next person, but flag on the play. Let's be honest, the youngest millennials right now are old enough to be in the workforce. Now, that don't mean they're working. They probably not. Okay, but they are old enough to be working, which means that they have aged out of spring break. So the folks that are trying to party like it's 1999 is Generation Z. Now look, I know y'all want to be mad at them, but young folk going young folk. So we should just meet them where they are, okay? Instead of calling them Generation Z, let's call them the mass murder generation. And let's be there for them, you know, when they're at the funerals for their parents and their grandparents. You know, let's roll that spring break video footage, right, with Frank Sinatra's My Way playing in the background, right? And just let them know, I see you. Y'all are killing it. Literally. Okay, everybody, I gotta go. I just got the light uh, from my cat. I'm my executive producer. So I just want to put a couple of uh, closing thoughts uh, on your mind before we part ways. Uh, I want to remind you first and foremost that this, what we're going through right now, could be way worse. Now you're probably thinking, well, Leanne, how could this possibly be worse? I'm gonna tell you, this could go from pandemic to pandemonium if we didn't have no internet. Can you imagine trying to sequester at home with no internet we can't email nobody we can't text nobody we can't watch star trek deep space nine or insert your favorite show here you know we would quickly go from being at home to figure out how to socially distance during a riot okay the second thing i want you to ask yourself or just just think about if two ply toilet paper is the new currency then Who's the shithole country now? And finally, no matter how bad this gets, at some point, given how humans do, this too will be on a t-shirt. Thank you so much for hanging out with me at the Leanne Lord at Home Comedy Club. I hope to see you again next time. Stay safe, watch your hands, and don't hug grandma.